Hi, I'm Marta with Mimeo. Um, this is the Mimeo right here. The basic idea behind it is you can attach it to any dry erase board or flat surface and it converts that surface into an interactive whiteboard. Um, so you can just take a standard dry erase board and it attaches with these plastic clips and we just have this up with 3M poster strips. Once you attach it to the board, you're just going to do a quick calibration. Um, with the Mimeo, you can change your projector settings so that it's all the way up to a four foot by eight foot board size that it'll be interactive with. Or you can have it um, make a very small interactive space too, depending on what surface size you're working with. Um, but once you go through your basic calibration process, then your stylus here becomes ultimately your mouse. So anything you would normally do on your computer, you can now do but from the front of the room. Um, so this here's our Mimeo notebook. This is the software that's your blank canvas for creating lessons, taking notes, things of that nature. And then you have your toolbar here, which is going to basically be your lifeline for any time you change, oops, any time you change um, um, tools. So here you have your basics, such as the pen option if you want to take some notes. Then we have the highlight, which is just the transparent pen. If you want to go back and interact with the notes that you've already taken, you can select what you've done. Maybe you want to resize it, maybe you want to change the color, or maybe you want to even convert it into a text that you can now edit with your keyboard. So we have those kinds of, of options. If you ever make a mistake, we have an eraser, so you can erase any of your line items. Or we have a little trash can in the corner for deleting objects. We also have different shape options. If you want to create graphic organizers and things of that nature, you can go through and, and very quickly create that. You can choose the border color as well as the inside color for any of these objects. Um, you'll see me hitting this page a lot. That's your new page button. Um, so that if you just want to go to a brand new clean copy, you can certainly do that. Um, it hasn't gotten rid of your previous slides. It's just stacking them on top of each other. So you can go back and view all the slides in a row that you've been working on with our little slide view over here on the left. With the toolbar, if it gets in the way, you can always shrink it down by just double tapping on it. And then we have our gallery. The gallery is going to be where you have all of your content. This is going to be for images, for templates, um, multimedia, things like that. It's broken down by subject at the top and then by format at the bottom. So you can scroll through until you find the desired object here. Now I could pick up my select arrow, move the states around, or maybe I want to pick up the pen and see if I can label all the states. When you get to the northeast, that gets a little bit trickier, so you can use your zoom in function. Oops, too close. <laughs> so you can also zoom out equally. And then everything that's in the zoomed in function here, you can still actually interact with. So you can still be trying to label and things of that nature. We can also go to a full screen mode when you want, when you don't need the menu bars around, but you want it to be, you know, a larger image for your students. And then we have different presentation tools you can use, such as the spotlight, if you just want to focus on one part of the presentation. We also have a reveal option, so maybe you don't want to give away the whole slide, you can certainly reveal it. Then we also have a record option. When you use your recorder, you're basically recording a little video clip of everything that you're working on. So maybe I want to bring up a little triangle and say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You can pause and now what you just did on the board has been recorded as a little um, video clip. So it's going to be an AVI file on a PC um, and it's going to be an MP4 on a Mac. So you can go back and watch this. You can have audio added um, um, and then you'll notice it just shows the actual window shot there so you can make a nice neat training video or um, lesson if it's a difficult concept and you want to make sure the students can um, go back and look at it as many times as they need to. You can play it on a loop um, and it's a pretty powerful tool there. Also in the gallery we have different images that are just going to be things that are movable, resizable, A lot of different templates, um, such as graph papers, things of that nature. 
So I can scroll through. Maybe I want to bring up an XY axis. Bring in a line. Now I can bring in protractor here and have the students come up and actually measure the angle of that line. So you have lots of different choices for kind of how to use Mimeo. And then we also have our multimedia section of the gallery. This is going to be anything that involves flash animation. So if you want to have dice, things of that nature. There's sound effects you can download. Um, we have a graphing tool. Maybe you want to chart a sine curve and then change the variables. And then everyone's favorite, the musical keyboard. You can go back and replay it with a different instrument. And then when you get done, and you have all these slides at the end of the day, um, you can save them in whatever format you want. So it'll save it as a .inc is, is the default, but you can save it as a PDF or a JPEG or any kind of image file like that listed here so that you can make sure that the students will have access to it even if um, they weren't there that day. You can also use Mimeo with other softwares as well, or if you have a web page you want to go to or any other program, because at the end of the day, the stylus is basically just your mouse. So. Um, if you want to hop online, maybe you want to bring up a text tool option here and do a quick little Google search for something. Maybe we want a picture of a dog. Anything I write in my writing pad here is going to convert to text and drop right on in to the text box. Close out of my window here. Now if I decide I want to take this picture here and I want to bring it back into my presentation, I can do what we call a screen clipping. It grays out the screen and now with my mouse I can select just the part I want and it drops just that into the open presentation. So now I can resize this or maybe I want to add it into the gallery, maybe under my miscellaneous section. So now every time I want to bring out a copy of that, I have a brand new clean copy waiting for me in my gallery. With, um, another option that we have is maybe you're on a web page and you decide rather than actually capturing that picture in, you want to be able to annotate on it. What you can do here is use our screen annotation tool. You heard that little camera snapshot sound? It outlined the, the board in green. That's your indicator. This is no longer going to behave like a mouse. At this point, it's like you just laid a transparency over what you're working on. Um, so now you can pick up your pen, circle things, bring in different shape tools and say, okay, let's brainstorm. What are some possible names for this dog here? And you can have a little brainstorm session. When we're ready to go back to this being a normal web page again, we go right back into interactive mode. Those notes go away on the web page, but they were automatically saved with a date stamp and a timestamp in our gallery. So you can go back and access those later on if you need to. There we go. We also have additional resources on our websites, um, mimeo.com for training resources, and then mimeoconnect.com for downloading additional galleries and lessons and things of that nature. So that is Mimeo to convert any dry erase board into an interactive whiteboard.